Here we're just going to look at an example of how we move from our long run equilibrium to a short run equilibrium which is not sustainable and how we then go back to the long run equilibrium. Alright, so just look at the situation where we start where short run and long run equilibrium are both in existence. So we just draw Okay, so we are at YFE, which is your natural rate of unemployment. Uh, you can say the price level happens to be P1, right? Everything is fine. Uh, short run, long run equilibrium, everything is fine. Then something happens. Let's say something happens to aggregate demand. Okay, don't forget, what is aggregate demand? Consumption plus investment plus government spending plus exports minus imports okay let's just say in this situation there's been an increase in consumption nothing else changes which means there will be an increase in aggregate demand so there'll be a shift in your aggregate demand curve okay so we bring back our graph and now we're going to have a oops A shift outwards in aggregate demand AD2 okay so now we have a new equilibrium Y1 right output is now greater than normal this is your inflationary gap right inflationary gap you can see the price level has gone up inflation unemployment is less than normal okay and then what happens right we, we sort of covered this already previously what happens in this situation now? Okay, so output is greater than normal, unemployment is less than normal, there will be an increase in wage demands, which will increase the cost of production, which would mean the short run aggregate supply curve would shift to the left okay so we did this before we were looking at the inflationary cap okay, let me change the color of the pen and we will end up here we move back to long run equilibrium potential output and the price level will continue to rise okay so that's an example of what happens